have you too. So I thought I would talk about, because my monkey's been drinking his milk. Uh, what are kind of the norms? I hear that, you stinky, I hear that, you little stinky wankers. <laughs> what are the cultural norms in the Western world um, of breastfeeding? What's the difference, right? Oh yeah. So Canada and America have the most experience with. Um, and Canada is a bit more positive on breastfeeding. It's not quite as sexualized um, as the United States. Um, they still have a long way to go, but they do have better leave policies and just gender role. You aren't going to get harassed as much. When I breastfeed, you know, wander around Vancouver, I don't get a lot of looks. And I certainly don't get people coming up to me to say anything. In the U.S., people get legitimately offended and angry about breastfeeding. And I don't, you know, I'm not sure where that anger comes from, but people will actually get angry about breastfeeding. And I do it anyway. I whip it out. Um... And I'm just like, oh, he needs his milkies? I'm going to give him his tatas. Um, I breastfeed him in Costco. And you know what? I'm helping normalize it for my fellow crazy Americans that somehow have decided that women's bodies are exclusively the domain of male pleasure and male fantasy and cannot possibly have other uses that we women decide for our own bodies. Um, so the U.S., not a friendly place for breastfeeding. Uh, very unfriendly in the workplace. But progressing. We're making a lot of progress. We finally have laws in all our states um, that protects um, the right of women to not be arrested for breastfeeding in public. Yes, that could still happen in some places um, because we have indecency laws because we're puritanical and there's big issues with, um, you know, you don't want to charge a woman for indecent exposure for exposing her breasts because she's breastfeeding, right? Even though a man can walk down the street topless and not be arrested for the same thing. It's just nipples, guys. We're all going to survive it. We've all seen nipples. Most of us have all drunk from them as small ones. They're good. They're cool. They're cool, man. They aren't horrifying. They aren't going to pervert the course of our children's development. Um, so that's really good progress. That's wonderful. So now we can breastfeed without the fear of being arrested because, boy, that is some Saudi Arabia. That is right there. Um, tell me, my lovely followers in Saudi Arabia, how do you handle public breastfeeding, I suppose? I'm assuming you can't. But I have, I have never been to Saudi Arabia, so I don't know. I avoid it for fear of, you know, they don't seem positive on, on the ladies. Um, Layla. Oh, okay. Get, let me finish this one thing, and then should we have snacks? I was thinking cheese sandwiches. Do you all like cheese sandwiches? I suffer from the conundrum of, do I eat two sandwiches or three sandwiches? I'm trying to cut back on my sandwich use because as any breastfeeding mama or any husband or partner of a breastfeeding mama knows we eat I'm trying to be like, okay, I gotta eat better. <laughs> oh, um, England, you're gonna see a little bit more breastfeeding, but not a lot. I have not when I've been there, and I'm gonna be there again um, in November, so I will report back. Um, oh, hey, give me your tips. What's good spots in uh, around the London area to um, take my little monkey to for fun and myself? Let me know. Uh, so not quite as as friendly um, as maybe Scandinavia is. Um, Denmark, I've seen a lot of mama's breastfeeding. That's really normal. Um, yeah, Sweden, nobody seems to bat an eyelash. Um, you know, it just seems a little bit more normal in Scandinavia. Not that everybody's whipping out their breasts all the time, but like nobody's gonna be, oh, I better arrest you for breastfeeding your child in public. How old is that child? And you'll see a little bit more extended breastfeeding. And part of that, this is entirely my subjective opinion, not backed up by any data that I have correlated and gone through, it's just my opinion, is that countries with longer maternity and paternity leaves that have more family support and more society support for mothering in general and better education for breastfeeding leads to longer term breastfeeding because it is natural. It's very natural to breastfeed your child for many years. Um, in the U.S., most people are done breastfeeding by six months. Um, very few people make it to a year. We have horrifying statistics in breastfeeding, and you know, we're we're barely a first world country in um, infant and maternity mortality. It's it's pretty scary. Um, it's it's pretty horrifying when you see the data, because I go through a lot of CDC reports um, when I wrote my Milkasaurus book. Uh, that's out in the link. Feel free, buy a copy, send me a link, and I'll send you a little plate that says thank you. Dig a digital signed plate. Um, bye. Oh, most bye. I did a lot of research on that, hey, and breastfeeding statistics in some hey, countries are terrifying. Hey, bye to them. Third world countries beat us out in breastfeeding, 
and infant and mother health in many aspects and that that's terrifying um france actually doesn't have as big of a breastfeeding culture they are more towards formula or finish or you know early weaning um they don't do as much public breastfeeding and part of that is just cultural norms of you know women individuating from their children more oh yeah italy you know we we think of italy as a very conservative country probably my my favorite country oh, i love france can I live in Florence? If anybody has a job they would like to give me that allows me to get a visa to live in Florence, I'll live there. We're, we're learning our Italian. Abraham, would you like to say ciao? Ciao, goodbye. See, boom, he's learning his Italian. He just likes to say that randomly. His grandparents, his grandmother speaks Italian. Um, oh yeah, of course. Okay, let me finish up. Uh, but it's very prolific in the art there and the statues and that makes a big difference of what you're seeing day to day. Careful, my love. Careful. I'm taking this out. No, don't unplug it yet. Come over here and finish up with me. <laughs> so that is a quick overview. I was going to go a little bit longer, but somebody wants his snacks, even though we just had snacks. But whatever, whatever man, it's okay. I'm in yeah, a bottomless no pit of snacks. lots of snacks. <laughs> no, I love you. Um, of the Western world and views on breastfeeding. I, I will do a new video mine. if you would like on this topic. Let me know how technical you would like me to get. I just think it's a fun topic to talk about experiences in the comments. Mm. Stay nice, stay positive. These are loving comments about breastfeeding, but tell me what your experience is in your country. How does it change? Um, have you seen it change over the years? Were you breastfed? What are you doing with your kids now? I would love to hear that. I love getting feedback about that information. Um, until next time, check out all the links I have in the description. It also goes to my blog, and I list lots of breastfeeding and mommy and travel topics on there. And until next time, hey, thank you so much for subscribing and being part of our little mm. wholesome feed family. And hey, oh, hey, nursing tank tops. Yeah. Rock. Bada boom. Hey, oh, yeah. Like <laughs> hey, until next time. Thank you all so much.